Hi boys and girls, I'm really happy to be with you today to read this amazing story. It's called Father Ben Gets Ready for Mass. But I thought we could make an improvement on the book and I'd like to retitle it. Let's say the book is called Father Bart Gets Ready for Mass. The sun is rising and Father Bart hears the church bells ringing. It's time to get ready for Mass. Can you make the sound of a church bell? Head to the church, Father Bart. Trace your fingers along Father Bart's path to the front doors of his parish. So there we go, walking to church. And we made it. Inside the church, Father Bart makes the sign of the cross with holy water from the font. Holy water reminds us that we were baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dip your finger in the holy water font, like Father Bart. Now you make the sign of the cross, touch your forehead, chest, and each shoulder. So we put our hand in there, and then make the sign of the cross. Before Father Bart gets ready for Mass, he kneels and prays in the quiet church. Father Bart remembers that as a priest, he represents Jesus for all of the people who will come to Mass. Can you fold your hands in prayer before Mass? Now say a simple prayer like this one. I love you, Jesus. It's time to head to the sacristy. Here, Father Bart looks at the Missal, which helps him prepare for the Mass. Point to the Missal for Father. Do you need a little help finding it? Look for a red book. Right there. Father Bart looks over the readings for today's Mass. One from the Old Testament, one from the Psalms, one from the New Testament, and one from the Gospel. There will, be a, there will be readings from four different books of the Bible. Can you hold up your four fingers? While he is still in the sacristy, Father Bart says special prayers while he washes his hands and puts on his vestments. It's ordinary time. So that means he wears green. Green is the color of hope and life. So here's the green vestment for ordinary time. Then we have the white vestment for Christmas and Easter time. We have the purple vestment for Advent and Lent, a red vestment for Palm Sunday, and there is a rose colored vestment that we wear twice a year during Advent and Lent. The church is filled with people, and Mass is ready to begin. Let's tilt the book to the left to help Father get to his position at the end of the procession. Okay, I guess we'll go that way. But I don't know, he's over here. Maybe he needs to go that way. <laughs> and there they come. Well done. It looks like the altar servers need to light their candles. Tap the candle wicks to light them. One, two. Good. Now it's time to celebrate the Mass, Father Bart. The procession makes its way toward the altar. How many people do you count in the procession? Well, look at the procession. We have the three servers. One, two, three. One is carrying the cross and Two are carrying candles. Then we have the deacon who's carrying the book of the gospel. And then we have the priest. So that means there's five people in the procession. Father Bart kisses the altar where Jesus will soon be present in the Eucharist. Now you kiss the altar too. <laughs> Mwah! Mass is being celebrated in the sacristy. 
I'm sorry, Mass is being celebrated in the sanctuary. Shh. In the, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. During Mass, our eyes are watching, our ears are listening, our mouths are quiet, and our hearts are open. Point to your watching eyes, your watching eyes, your listening ears, your quiet mouth, and your open heart. It's time for the Liturgy of the Word. The lectors read from the Bible. Before the deacon proclaims the gospel, everyone stands and sings along. They sing Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father Bard and the people at Mass celebrate the Liturgy of the Eucharist. Father elevates a sacred host above his head. Bow your head and then raise it up again to look at Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. After the liturgy of the Eucharist and as Mass comes to an end, Father Bar gives the people a blessing and recesses to the back of the church. Help the altar servers blow out their candles. Did you blow? The candles are still lit. Blow again and a little bit harder this time. There you go. Good. Thank you for a beautiful Mass, Father Barth.